ask Tom on home show. Kyle from Grafton, Ohio wants to know about insulation upgrading. Yeah, who doesn't these days, Tom? He's trying to upgrade this attic in his 1965 ranch house. And Kyle writes to us, I have approximately uh, an R10 up there right now. It looks like it's the original bats from 1965. The contractor recommends yeah. blown in from aldehyde free fiberglass and air sealing. The AC seems properly sized. The attic is vented with soffits and ridge vents, but I have no shade. I mentioned radiant barrier, but was told added insulation would solve that problem. He recommends a minimum of R49, but I want R60. Will insulation help the heat radiating down into my rooms? First off, my first comment on that, that picture those are some fine carpenters you had there in 1965. No they kidding. They have that thing braced. Beautiful. It looks like a dang cabinet. I love it. That's an art that's being lost. Secondly, going to a point uh, where Ohio is, probably 49 would be the right spot. If you add more to 60, it doesn't do anything. It just is more. It's more of nothing. Because there's a point where, if you look at a graph, it's got diminishing returns. It doesn't make any sense to do it. And anybody in your area that's in the insulation business, they're going to follow the recommended uh, rates. More is not better. 49 is probably where you should be, and that's what you should be adding. And that's okay. Now, the reason we don't use or recommend radiant barriers in areas like Ohio or farther north is you're designing for winter, so your insulation values are so great, the radiant barrier is going to do nothing. Our values is a resistant of heat, resistance of heat flow, which means that heat would have to go through an R49, which off the top of my head has to be over 30 inches deep. So you're going to have so much insulation, it would never make it. But for us to do something like that, say in Houston, it's totally different. We don't need that kind of R value. We'd have to design totally different to have that much insulation up there. And it would be ridiculous. Uh, you just couldn't use the attic. You couldn't uh, uh, navigate it. The cost of the insulation would be astronomical when a radiant barrier roof decking is really what we're looking for because our R values are 30s. At the most, maybe an R38 is as high as we would ever go. And at one time, it was R19s and R30s, and that was it. So radiant barriers work great because we design for summer, you design for winter. Once you design for summer, you don't put in winter too because it just negates one another. So that's why you're seeing that. I would tell you you're probably dealing with a pretty good guy. Solid vents, ridge vents, R49, Ohio, you're set. I looked it up while you were talking. Yes. Did you? And R49 would be 16 and a quarter inches, and that's 22.6 bags per thousand square feet. Of what? Of what kind of material? Fiberglass. Fiberglass insulation. Really? Yep. And I was wrong. No, no. I'm just no, I'm, I, I was just telling you so you'd know. R38 would be yeah, 12. Yeah, I don't have a chart in front of me, I, but I well, know an R30 is around 14, I don't either. 12, 14. I have, <laughs> I have the font of all phone. knowledge right here in my hand. In this, I mean, how do we live without this? It's just bizarre. I live with it Better, every day, actually. just fine. <laughs> Better, actually. But, yeah, yes. R38 would be 12.75 inches or 16.8 bags per that's thousand right. square feet. That's right, a little over 12, yeah. Right, so that's, yes. so you're, you're spot on. But tell tell me about this thing, Tom, because I've never heard that the R was the, the, the energy coming through the insulation. So you go up to an R60, I mean, that's hmm. going to be, like, crazy th oh, this, the chart didn't yeah. even go up that high <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i was just kind of making uh, oh you mean for the gentleman's question he did the r60 that's right uh yeah that doesn't make any sense at all i i've never heard of it either but i guess there would be a place where it would be used but i have never heard of it on a standard chart through the u.s I'm Maybe curious Antarctica. to know here. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, How thick? Let's see. Let's see. Just see if I can come it up with an answer on this. It goes actually by pounds. You notice they said pounds? How many yes. bags and pounds? That's yeah. really how you gauge it. It just has okay. an estimated thickness. According to this, okay, <laughs> yes, and who yes. knows? You know, this could be, you know, fake news. That sounds pretty good. It, if it settles, we'll top it off. It appears that 16 inches deep is to get R60. How much? 16 inches he says, R60 for loose, oh, hang, oh, hang on, that's deep to get R60 for attic loose fill cellulose, 
24 inches deep to get R60 for fiberglass. So 24 well, inches. So you were right. Because fiberglass is a little, it is Yeah, a that's more. fiberglass, 24 inches. I said almost inches. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's well, fluffier and yeah. cellulose is a denser material. Right. So, but at least he's doing the right thing with the fiberglass. Stay away from the cellulose, right? Oh, yeah. Fiberglass, R49, just like the guy said. Uh, you're you're going to love it, and you don't need to do anything else. Don't do anything else there. Do something else somewhere else. Right. Buy, buy your wife a pool. All right. Do you well, have a question? Yeah, buy a pool. <laughs> I'm good with that. Yeah, I think in well, Ohio. Tom will know. help you. <laughs> go, go here. Ask Tom. He'll tell you about pools. You'll have to send another question, though, and he'll help you out. <laughs> Fill out the form. Send us your pictures. Send us your videos. Whatever it is. Tom wants to help, and he, we. that's why we post a new one of these every day at homeshowradio.com trying to help you out. And you'll find them also on our Facebook page. Love it if you follow us there. Or better still, go find our YouTube channel, Home Show Radio um, YouTube channel. Follow us and click the bell and we'll notify you every time we put a new video up.